everybody it's Murphy Gray Hunter so it is Saturday night um you know every time I make a video I'm like I'm gonna tell them the date and I never know it it's Saturday March the 4th all right can you believe we're in March I literally just found out a few minutes ago that I had been posting stuff on Facebook and I'm like how come nobody's like commenting on my stuff right I was like then I realized that everything was, I went under my settings and everything was, um, it was set on, um, private. And then I looked at my posts and everything was unlocked. My, my friend Mary was helping me. So I was like, oh, it was locked since last Sunday. So I had to go through settings on both my iPad and my phone and unlock it. I have no idea how that happened, but I'm just glad it's fixed. So today's video is going to be on... <clears throat> I got my list here. Today, um, this is going to be on tips, um, shopping tips when you're going grocery shopping. Okay. So these are just tips that I do. And I just kind of wrote them down, not in any special order, but this is just kind of what I do. Um, the very first thing that you want to do when you're going to go to the grocery store is the night before or the hour before you go, whatever. Go ahead and make a menu. So if you cook every night, let's just say, for example, you cook Monday through Friday and you go to the store on Saturday. So you want to do a menu. So you just go on a piece of paper, you do Monday through Friday, and you put what you're going to cook. If you're going to make, um, I don't know, let's say meatloaf and mashed potatoes with gravy and uh, corn, whatever, right? Write that down. If you're going to make nachos on Tuesday, if you're going to make um, spaghetti on Wednesday and you're gonna make whatever whatever your menu is right go ahead and write it out so say on Monday you're going to eat spaghetti after you make your menu down Monday through Friday or Monday through whatever or how many days you shop that we're gonna go by Monday through Friday okay so after you make your whole menu up for Monday through Friday then you're gonna put that menu to the side and you're gonna make your shopping list according to your menu so if you are making um, spaghetti on Monday so you're gonna say okay I need spaghetti so you're gonna put spaghetti and pasta sauce and if you're gonna have any kind of um, bread you're gonna put that down if you're gonna make a salad go ahead and put that down so you make your list according to what you're going to be making so um, let's just say you're gonna make um, what can we what, I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to make think of meals like meals like that because since I'm vegan, mine's always like rice and beans or like a bowl of mangoes or um, let's just say um, you're going to make um, lasagna, okay? Then you're going to go ahead and write on there everything you're going to need for lasagna. So the reason why I do the menu is so that way I don't forget an item. Because sometimes when you go to the store and you're like, oh dang, I didn't bring any spaghetti. Everything makes spaghetti, but no spaghetti. So you want to make a menu. Then off of your menu, make your list. Then after you make your list of what you need, then you can add the extra stuff. Then you can add like, oh, I need some popcorn or I need some pickles or I need, you know, um, a bag of chips or I need um, band-aids or paper towels, whatever. Okay. And so then also when you're making your list, it's really, the way I make my list is I make it according to the area. So... Um, if I'm going to go to, um, where like produce, I will title the top produce and then I'll write all the stuff that's in the produce area. Um, same if you buy frozen food, so title it frozen and then everything you get in the frozen department. And so that way, you know, in this area, this is everything I'm going to get in this area. This is everything I'm going to get. So you're not going crazy all around the store, put everything in categories. Okay. So, you know, my, my shopping list is kind of like produce. That's really where I do all my shopping produce. And then, um, the only meat I ever get is for my dogs, for the chicken, unless my husband is home, then I get meat for him. But, um, so, you know, you do like produce frozen and then have a separate area for your paper goods. And so that can be paper towels, toilet paper, laundry detergent, you know, whatever it is that you buy. Um, so putting everything in category really helps so you're not going around the store like crazy. 
and making a list so that way you are making sure that you are buying every single thing that you need to make dinner or lunch or breakfast that week okay um because sometimes you come home with all the stuff the extra stuff and you don't come home with the stuff that you really need okay so that's really important never go to the store without a list never go without being prepared and um and like i said making a menu really really does help it really does and if you don't know what you want to make get on pinterest pinterest is a great place so if you get on pinterest and then you can do like say uh, if you want comfort food you're like oh it's kind of cold this week i want to make comfort food Type in their comfort food and it'll show you all these ideas that you can make. If you are a vegan or a vegetarian, type in that and it'll show you. You know, I think everybody's on Pinterest. So it'll show you. But let's just say, for example, you're not on Pinterest. Let me just show you. Okay, so, you know, here's the app for Pinterest. Okay. Sorry, the light. Um, it since, like I said, since I'm vegan and my daughter is vegetarian... My husband is a meat eater. Sometimes it's like a little diner in here. But this really helps like to make different things. So if you <coughs> you see here, I have like breakfast ideas. I have salads and then I have like meals for Derek. So I have my husband. So things that I want to cook for him. And so I'll go through there and I'll find things that I want to cook for him. And then um, these are just ideas. Things that I would like to cook for him. And then I'm like, oh, you know, I want to make those for him. So I'll just click on there and it shows you how to make it. All right. And then down here is the recipe. Okay. So you can get on there and find a lot of ideas and you can make your menu right off of there. And I do that because you definitely don't want to be eating the same thing over and over, especially when my husband comes home. I would like to make him a variety of things. And with my daughter being... um. Uh, vegetarian I like to because she's only eight and so I like to try to make it a little bit for me I mean I can eat the same thing over and over because it's great but for her I like to try to give a variety so I need ideas to help me with hers so you definitely want to make a menu Pinterest is a great place because it's free and you don't have to buy all these magazines and cookbooks and stuff it's free just get on there you can do it anywhere where you're in the toilet where you're laying down wherever just get on there and get some go ahead and pin your ideas and it really does um give you so many ideas and like I said the app is free so get on there and make you some lists girl make you some lists oh girl our guy um and make your menu okay once you make your menu you make your list okay I think I talked about that 5,000 times all right after you do that you want to make sure that you um are getting the flyer from your because ours gets mailed to us I don't know about y'all we get like flyers from like our local grocery store they send us like a sales ad now, most stores have apps, like um, whatever grocery store you you shop at. You know how Randall's and H-E-B, Walmart, Target, they all have apps. H-E-B and Randall's are st stores here in Texas. I don't, I don't think H-E-B is anywhere else but in Texas. I'm not sure about Randall's. But anyway, you can get on there and they have apps. And you get on there and you can see the weekly ad. So if you don't receive it, you can see it and you can see what's on sale. So you can also make your menu according to what is on sale in the ad and also on those apps you get coupons so you can click on the area where it'll say coupons and then you can see all the coupons and then you can click some of those where you just click on the coupon and it saves it for you so when you it's either linked up to a grocery card that you get like a randall's card or when you get there you put your phone out and they scan your phone and all the coupons that are on that you saved you can just get them like that um some of the stores have coupons in there so if you're looking at the weekly ad it'll say in-store coupon so when you get there you want to make sure you get your coupon because they're usually with the with the item that's on sale okay so you definitely want to use coupons i know some people don't like to use coupons but you can save a bunch of money if you use coupons you really really can and sometimes like, they have things on sale it, coupons are really great for the meal the meal um um, the meal packages especially if you eat meat because they always have something like a brisket with this or ham with this or you know you know those only pertain to me when um, I'm gonna have a party and there's gonna be meat eaters or my husband is coming home uh, but other than that it's not really that great for us but 
um, they can be really good um, for families. Because um, if you buy, like, say, you know, this this piece of meat, you get, like, five things for free. So those things are really good. Look for all those in-store things. And so when you're looking on the ad and you can see, oh, they have this meal deal, you can go ahead and include that in one of the days of the week. Okay. So you also want to make sure that um, if you go to the counter where the customer service is, they have a map of the grocery store. And now on your app, if you download the app to your grocery store, there is a map on there. But if you don't have an app, go to the customer service, hey, can I have one of your maps of your store aisles? And that way you can take it home and you can say, oh, trash bags are on aisle five. So when you're making your list, right next to it, put a number five and circle it so you know exactly where to go. So you're not going aisle to aisle like a crazy head, you know, just mark it on there. Some apps like Randall's, when you put on there, um, say you're looking for um, Ziploc bags and you see they're on sale and you click it and it puts it into your cart, next to it it tells you what aisle is in. So that's really great because you're putting in the location of that particular store you're going to. So that's why you can break it down into aisles. But if not, like I said, get a printout. Now some of these, mostly all these stores have websites you can get on there also. But, you know, just get a map. That really does help. It really, really, really does. Um, now, you also, not for me, I go shopping when it is a time where there isn't any. I live in a community that's more, mostly geared towards older people. So I go when it's already, like, nap time <laughs> for them. I know that's mean. But literally, after 2 or 3 o'clock, they are all gone. And so, and then by... 8 o'clock, honey, they're at home. So I pick times to go to the grocery store because I don't like to go when it's crowded. And so make sure that you find it if, if you can. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you just go whenever you get to go. So you definitely want to check out the times when it is um, a good time for you to go. When it's kind of slow, not so crazy. Um, and um, you want to make sure that you are packing your recyclable bag so you can use them. A lot of places charge you for bags. Um, where I live, you can still get free bags, but I buy the the plastic recyclable bags, and I, I take them with me. Um, and it's just easier. It's easier for them to pack things in there, and it's easier for you. It's easier for me to carry them out of there. So I always take my bags. And the way that I remember is that after I take everything out of my grocery bags, when I'm taking stuff home and I pull everything I, fold, I keep one open and I fold all the rest and I put them neatly in there and I go put it right by my front door so that way in the morning when I go take trash out I can just take those pop the trunk and put it in there that way you have them for the next time that you go okay um, and this is a very important step guys very important eat before you go to the grocery store if you are out and you're like, I have to stop at the store to go get something, y'all better stop somewhere and shove something in your mouth. Because if you go to the grocery store hungry, you're going to come home with all kinds of stuff. And you know that. Like, why did I come home with these two dozen of donuts? Because you were hungry, bitch. That's why. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Because I have to make sure I eat before I go. Because <sighs> if not, I'll be like, mmm, that looks really good. It's not on the list, but I'm going to get it anyway. So, yeah. You want to make sure you eat before you go. And if you're taking your child with you, feed them too. Because otherwise, they're, oh, mama, can I have this? Can I have this? Ugh. So, make sure you do all that. Um, another tip is um, clean your refrigerator and your freezer before you go to the store. You go to the store and you're dealing with the store and everything. And then you come home and you unload and everything and you get it all in. The last thing you want to do is have to clean out your refrigerator. Ugh. You want to clean your refrigerator out. Number one, so that way your refrigerator is nice and clean and you have space available to put things. This way you're not like, oh dang, I thought I had butter and you don't. You have an empty container in there. So you want to make sure that you are cleaning your fridge out. And that way you have, you know, you know exactly what you have, what you need. And it's nice and clean so you can come and put your new groceries in. It's nice to unpack it and just go put it up. Okay. 
So you want to do that before you go to the grocery store. If you're going to go when you get out of work, make sure you clean it the night before. Just pull your trash can up to your refrigerator, open the door, and just start dumping stuff in there if you have trash. Um, and have some hot soapy water. Um, so that way, if say you have some leftover pasta in a Tupperware that you're saving, go ahead and open it, dump it into the trash, and throw it into the, um, into the hot soapy water. Throw your container in there. Just keep doing that. And then... And then it's all nice and empty. Then get a nice, you know, get a little towel, nice uh, hot soapy water, and clean everything down. Then it's good to go. It's good to go. Um, then you wash all your shit up, and you put it up, and then you get ready for, to go to the store. Because nothing sucks more than coming from the grocery store and having a dirty kitchen. So get all that done. Okay? All right. Um, n another important thing. This will keep you from throwing stuff away. Learn how to store your fresh items. So many people do not know how to store fresh items. Like they don't know how to store their fresh fruits or, or their vegetables, you know, or their herbs, you know, and then you end up like, oh man, this went bad, you know, and you throw it away. So learn how to store your items. That's very, very important. If you're going to buy fresh produce and fresh, you know, fruits and herbs and all that, learn just... Just get on YouTube and watch a video on how to store them. I mean, there's so many ways. I mean, like some people are like, oh, I didn't know that the best way to put keep tomatoes is out on the counter. Oh, I didn't know I couldn't put bananas and oranges together. You know, it's just simple things like that. So just watch a quick video and that way you'll understand, you know, how to store them. So that way you get, you can use them. You're not throwing away money. Because I don't know about y'all, but I don't like throwing away money or food. Okay. Um, another item, I mean, another, another idea is when you go to the store, especially if you have children, when you go to park, park next to a cart return thing, you know, the little thing where you put the carts in to return them, park next to one of those. So when you unload all your groceries, you don't have to like leave your kid and run and go drop it off or try to balance it or you just put it right into the little cart thing. I always park next to a cart return thing. Because once I put my groceries in, I can just put the cart right there, and I can get it and go. I know it's, it sounds like a, like, it's so silly, but it really does help, guys. You mamas that are watching this, you're like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Also, if you can, mamas and daddies, try to go to the store alone without little children. Because you can get so much done if you can just concentrate on what you're doing. You can get in and get out, you know? I always said that they should make, you know, like, I don't know if any of y'all been to Ikea. Well, when you go into Ikea, right, when you go in, because, you know, once you go in, you go all the way in and you go out of the way. Okay. But there is, a, um, once you walk in, there's a place there where you can check in your children. You, yep, you can check in your child. Check them in and they have a play area there. And there's people there that will watch your children while you go shop. Super smart idea. There should be a grocery store that does that. Do you know how many people would check their children in? I know that there has to be all kinds of laws and why this is not a good idea, blah, blah, blah. But oh my God, I've seen so many mothers juggling all these children and trying to get groceries and trying to pay and kids are running everywhere. And I'm just like, where the hell is your help? Where is a person who helped you make these children? To help you watch them so you can buy some groceries you know what I mean like that drives me insane when I see so many so many kids and mothers trying to balance all these children together and all the and they're just trying to get groceries you know it's not like she's trying to go to somewhere you know like glamorous or trying to go get some food so anyway see so if you can go alone go alone but I honestly think if a grocery store opened up a daycare in the grocery store oh my god that'd be amazing People be checking in their kids and be like, bye, I'm going to the gym. <laughs> no, bitch, go buy some groceries. <laughs> okay, and when you start shopping, you should get your heavy items first. Go get all your heavy items first. Like if it's dog food or cases of water, put all that stuff in the bottom of your basket first. Get all the heavy stuff. Go get all your canned goods, all of the heavy things. Because for me, like I get all of my heavy things first and like canned goods and all that stuff. Because on the very top, I put my produce. I don't want any of my produce to get squashed. My avocados, tomatoes, peaches, things like that. I don't want those to get squashed. So 
the produce is the last thing I do. So I go get everything I need, then I get my produce last. But I do all the heavy things on the bottom first and make sure that you are stacking everything nice and neat so that way everything is, you know, everything is nice and compact. Okay, two more tips, guys. Two more tips. Um, actually, I already told you about this one. Download the um, apps, you know, for your grocery store. Trust me, they have them. And the last tip I have is um, use the items in your pantry. So when you're making your list, go downstairs and see what you have in your pantry. You're like, oh, I have a can of black beans. I have a can of corn. Oh, and I have some brown rice. And I have, oh, I have like three more wraps left. So I'm going to go ahead and just get you know some tomatoes and avocados and I'm gonna use what I have here and I'm gonna make me some wraps you know use the items in your pantry before you go buy more sometimes you come home and you're like damn I have like 12 cans of black beans you know this way you're saving yourself some money and saving the space in your pantry you know so definitely want to use the stuff that you have in your pantry it really does keep your pantry from being um it definitely keeps your pantry from becoming overloaded um, with stuff and so messy and um, cluttered. And you're and you're you're using your products, you're recycling your products, so it definitely it helps. All right, guys, that's all the tips that I have for you. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more when I when I stop this. I'm like, oh man, but that's all the tips that I have for right now. <clears throat> so I hope that those tips help you because they help me. They help make my grocery shopping a lot easier. Alright guys, as always, love you all and bless it be. Bye!